This is the best wash and go ever. The best I've had. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Princess Renny here and for today's video I'm going to be showing you one of the best most awesome wash and goes that I've ever done. It's the easiest thing. It takes like under 20 minutes. It is so fast and I love it, love it, love it. This is a process that's been working for me for over the past few months since quarantine started. I've just been like really annoyed with like doing my hair constantly. Um, so if you're one of those people that's like annoyed with constantly having to do your hair, your wash and go takes much longer than a wash and go is supposed to take or feel like and you're just tired of having the same hairstyle all the time. So I'm going to show you guys in this video how I get the quickest, most easiest method of my wash and go and how I make sure that it lasts for the entire week and with all the definition. Yes, all the definition. <laughs> I sound like I'm advertising, but honestly, this method works. So if you're interested in that, just go ahead and keep watching. If you are interested, I am going to be doing a video on how I do my wash and goes the easiest, quickest way, and it's been foolproof so far. So um, I'm definitely going to share that with you guys. And if you're interested, you can go ahead and try it. So before I even decide on what I'm going to use, I know I definitely want to use my Maui Moisture um, Curl Smoothie. It's the Curl Quench and Coconut Oil. I know my hair does not like coconut oil, but I have this product. I'm going to try to use it. But before I do, I want to see how it works with um, the two gels that I have. If it works well with the two gels, then perfect. I'll use it. If it doesn't work well with the two gels, then <clears throat> yikes, that's, that would be really sad. So the first gel I have is a Wet Lion Extreme, the blue cover. I think this is a new one. I'm not sure. And I also have my Eco Styler gel. It was actually on sale on Amazon for like $2. So I bought like three of them because this is the only gel from Eco Styler that I actually like use. So, okay. so in order for me to decide if I can use this product with something else, the first thing that I do is I take a little bit of the first product, which is the leave-in. It actually smells really good. It's a good texture and everything. Can y'all see this? It's really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna rub it in my hand. So a little bit like that. I'm actually gonna separate it. So I'm gonna do two different sections. So as you can see, one is on the left, one is on the right. And then I'm just gonna take the gel, I'm gonna blend it in. We'll mix it together and hopefully it blends in a little bit. And, ooh, I should have opened these first. That would make a lot more sense. So we have that and then we also have the Eco Styler. This seal is so simple but genius. Oops, my bad. Well, this is what happens when you sit in a lazy and rushed way. So we still have the two gels on this, on the, this is your left, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, my right, your left. I'm gonna use the wet line extreme and I'm gonna mix it together. And I can already see that it is getting a little bit, okay, nope. E. It's kind of blending, but I'm scared like after a day or two, it's gonna look like um, a lot of like flakes. And then for this one, with the Eco Styler Gel, we're gonna blend it in. This one. It's kind of hard to decide. I think it blends better. You guys can kind of see what it looks like. I think it blends better with the Eco Styler. Not Eco Styler, with the Wet Line Extreme. Which one disappears to you guys? 
All right, I'm supposed to be going to work out. It's quite interesting. They actually both blend the same way. I'm gonna get some flakes later on, not today, but I'm gonna get flakes later in the week. I can already tell. But it's okay, I'm gonna use this. And I actually think I'm gonna give away that um, styling cream because my hair does not like coconut. I don't know why I still have it, but let's get into this styling, y'all. So I like to pull my hair into four different sections, just because it's easier. This is gonna be my quickest washing go. And this is basically how I do my wash and go all the time. My hair's already detangled, so I'm just gonna stretch it a little bit because that's how I want my hair to be. I'm getting some of that water out as well, so it's easier for me to put in the product. So I'm gonna put like this much. I want my entire hair to be like coated in that product. And I'm just gonna keep working it in until it gets on every single part. It melted. It melted in. I'm scared because it's coconut oil. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah. My hair already feels a little dry. I'm try to put some more. That was already a lot. Like that felt like a lot that I put, but my hair feels dry. So that's not good. So then after I do this. And I get it in so all over. And yeah, don't let this shrinkage fool you. My hair be playing me when it dries. So we have this, right? Then I'm gonna take some wet line extreme. And I like to start from the ends and then work my way up and then section it off and really get in there. So ends. Perfect. And then we're just gonna work our way up. And remember, when your hair dries, when you can like focus on like separation and stuff, but healthy hair naturally like um, clumps together like certain parts. So yeah, you see how my hair just naturally like wanted to do its own thing here, but I don't have gel all over it. So I'm just gonna go back in. I'm gonna try to get the roots starting with this part. and then drag it down and that's how you can make sure you get every single part so you can see the frizz already can you guys see the frizz right i can see the frizz but i'm trying to like pull it through so i can get all over this hair all of these streams and then i'm going to do the same thing again and there's no like method it's just part it wherever you see like Frizz, you put some of the gel on it and then you just bring it down. And I love doing this when my hair is soaking wet because it just makes it easier to get all over. Like more malleable. There we go. And then here we go. It's the last part. I'm gonna get some gel in the ears and all over. But it's okay, just push through. And then last, I like to do the praying hands method to make sure that everything is getting coated, but also it's gonna naturally clump together. It's not gonna focus on the way that I detangled it, but it's gonna focus on its own natural clumpage. And then it also helps it like stretch too. And then we're done with that first section. And we'll move on. And I'm trying my best not to touch my hair because I know like after it dries it's gonna be much easier to like do anything with it. So I'm gonna do the same thing, get the product, make sure this hair is like stretching out. Try to get it the majority of the hair. By the way, that took me what? I don't even know how many minutes, but it was quick. <laughs> I haven't been checking the time. Let's say I started this at 11. Um, the goal is to finish this by 11.30, the absolute latest. My friend is still waiting on me. We're supposed to meet and go work out, and it's perfect because being outdoors, my hair is gonna dry super fast, so. All right, I think I need more product because again, my hair is dry. It's drying, it's drying. 
Yeah, this is, I don't know. It could just be the coconut oil. Because my hair really feels dry whenever I put coconut oil in it. It's been a while since I've used coconut oil to, to be honest. Just because of that reason. Alright, so remember your hair is already detangled, but if you want to go back in and do some more, you can. Just know that natural hair, cur naturally curly hair, naturally like clumps together. So you would think it's like super tangled, but if I wanted to braid my hair and part it and stuff, it won't be like super tangled. So then we're gonna go back and find that part. We're gonna do the ends first, and then work our way up. Go. Remember, you want to work these products in just because you don't want like a lot of flakes. And like I said, I can already see my hair getting a little bit, not right away, but maybe in the second week or something like that. Not the second week, second day. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, so now I'm going to separate it. So that part was already clumped together. I didn't want to let go. Sometimes get to let go. Alright. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, I see a little bit of frizz here. As you guys can see, see that? Yep, that's frizz. So I gotta make sure that I'm combing that frizz. And the reason I'm not pinning this up is because it's going to make me get too comfortable and it's going to take much longer. But as my hand is hurting, that promotes, like, working faster. <laughs> like, working through my hand too much faster. So that hurts. This is like a workout. Alright, so you get it? Yeah, I think we got it. Majority of it, at least. And you could always go back in and add more gel if you need to. This is what helps my hair because it gets like really, really voluminous. And I do like it, but I feel like the volume takes away from the length. So um, I try to like at least get the roots so it can stay down, but also the roots can be defined. And then, yeah, we are done with this section. And that section took me like two minutes to do the whole thing. So in total, this was like four minutes. So, 4 times 4 is 16, this should take you over 20 minutes to do. Depending on your hair, of course. But, I think I'm going to do this side. You see this length? Right? I wish my wash and goes stayed like this. This length. Just like this. And why can't you just do that? It doesn't, doesn't work too. So I'm always like fluffing it out because I want it to be like a certain way. You can look at your hair, you can see the frizziness. And then you could be able to tell, like, hey, you need more gel, whatever, whatever. You see the difference? And then look at this part. You see how frizzy that is on top? So I'll just do that like this. And then sweep the gel through. Now see the difference? Like, it's just sitting down. Like, it's not doing the most, basically. Because trust me, my hair knows how to do the most. Only you could stay like this. All right, time to do the next style.
Your wash and go is a literal wash and go. It shouldn't take the, it shouldn't be the most. You're just coating your hair with product to protect it. And then you're putting the gel to seal in those curls that you naturally have. That's it. <laughs> That's really what it is. That's why we use gel for wash and goes. Because otherwise, you guys see what my hair does when it dries. So, develop my hair like that, it'll look like, girl, did you comb your hair? Did you do anything with it? So like at least the gel locks in those curls that naturally form. See them? I know you see them. See? Okay. Then you put the gel. It's like yes, baby. Yes, honey baby. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop talking. First, you see it. Okay, so then what I like to do is just coat it with some more gel. And then that helps get rid of the frizz. And just brings it back to life. Like hey, we'll do right here. And then obviously when it dries, it'll be more defined. Like you'll really understand what the gel does. But I can already feel it and I know the difference. Love it. Alright, stop touching your hair, girl. I can already tell this part is a little frizzy, so I'm gonna put a little bit of gel. To get the ends. I'm just gonna keep looking through my hair to see what other parts might be a little frizzy. Right here. Right here in front. Gotta make sure the front is always defined. I don't want my hair to be trying to play me sometimes. You want to make sure like the middle is sleeked. You already put the gel there, so you just kind of like press it down and sleek her down. So you get your waves. So you want to focus on your legs, not necessarily volume, because your girl already got volume. Look at this. There's already volume right here. It's crazy. Anyways, now we just let my hair do her thing. Go and do your thing, girl. And then maybe later, like tomorrow, not tonight, I'm gonna stretch it so that it's going right there. Because it's gonna shrink. It is. It is gonna shrink. But yeah, guys. This is what we work your way. This is what we work your way. Hey, what we work your way. You see the curl there. Like that's the stuff where I want you to see the curl. For the people who wanna know, this is how much hair I lost, like while styling. This is how much hair I usually lose whenever I deep condition my hair on a weekly basis. This is like the most I usually lose, or most of the time it's less than this. But yeah, just in case you wanted to know. Well, I just finished my workout, and this is what we're working with with the hair. It is fully dry. Well, not fully. It is about like 80, 90% dry. <laughs> what does that even mean? When I see influencers saying that, I'm like, well, what does that mean? But it just means that like the majority of my hair is dry. It's just if I reach into the roots, it's not fully dry. That's all. But yeah, majority of it, oh, it feels so good. It has a little bit of a crunch, but a lot of definition. I can definitely do a lot with this hair. You guys can see like my hair is not like black all over. It's weird. It has its own little highlights and whatnot, but I love it nevertheless. This is what we're working with. Ah. Yeah, I like, yeah, I like, because I like it. Mm -hmm.
Thank you.